We're going to tie a copper miner tube fly. We're going to have some fun doing this. Uh, so this is a, uh, <coughs> believe it or not, we run out of products sometimes. We're out of micro tubes. So I made my own micro tube out of a flexi tube. We're going to put a butt in here. That is STS tri mobile fluorescent shrimp pink. Put that in a loop. Didn't need even need my dubbing there. Going to fuzz this up just a little bit. Wind it on. And since this is a flexi tube, I'm going to put that right over the thick portion. Nice full Well, I'm trying not to say butt, but it is the butt of the fly. It's also the body of the fly. Yeah. I mean, it is so now, here we go. Yeah. This is a simple well, we fly to tie, tie, but very effective, inspired by our innovative friend and colleague. I'm just unevening the ends of this. Scott Howell, Skagit Master 2. If you haven't seen it, you need to see it. That man is a genius. I'm going to tie this fly a little bit more sparsely than he ties his prom dress. You lash on a little bit there, you pull the front end back, you trim it off, you look around, oh, there's a part that's not quite covered, so you put a little bit more on. Now Scott ties this again a little bit longer, a little bit more full than I do. And I'll bet he ties some kind of like this. So. so, here we go. Now we're going to put on a collar. No, oh, wait, 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 wait. Some really cool stuff. Bard Marabou, really nice stuff, comes in different colors. The black and white Bard is a specially nice combination with this particular fly. I like to tie my Marabou in by the tip. I'm looking for three turns of this Marabou. Three will be just enough without being too much. This color combination, Jay, summer, winter, both? Both. Both. Uh, the, the, the nice thing about this, I, I mean, the flash of booze, it's pretty ostentatious. The fish are going to see it. But, um, oh gosh, how come I. So, as Scott says, this gadget master, spoons work great in clear water. Copper spoon. Gotcha, gotcha. So the front is going to be a collar of uh, crosscut, two-tone, olive and black. Olives are not very often fished winter steelhead fly. Um, it's, uh, olive is a collar that I have fished for years. I have not fished this fly for years. But I really like the looks of this. So check out the way this crosscut rabbit spins on there. You get a wonderful dubbing brush. If you go to do this, and I know you will, don't try to use the tip the, or, or the, the two ends of the crosscut rabbit section because the hair on those is not long enough. And you will find that the hair on the, this two-tone, this particular two-tone, the olive and black, is not as long as, say, a uh, navy blue or um, a shrimp pink or the two-tone um, flesh colors. The hair is just shorter on this particular uh, type of hide that they dye this color. So you'll only use the central portion of the crosscut rabbit. And I'm 
tying my whip finish and getting my fingers tangled up as we're working with it. And then you could put a little bit of super glue on the end of this or standard head cement in either case. And I happen to have a pro cone here. Now, looks a little bit rough. Slide that cone on there. How nice that looks. Okay, now we're going to melt the end of that plastic tube. I'm just touching it to the blue section of the flame, not the hot section. So we've sealed the front of the pro cone and we've inserted the leader into the back of the hook guide that we slid over the back of that tube. We pull that tight and we slide the knot into the hook guide and here you have your copper miner tube fly.